would you really love to contact Odin via his wonderful ravens, Hugin and Moon? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a wonderful ritual which will help you to connect with Odin via his wonderful ravens who will take your thoughts and messages to him, will then receive via them a wonderful message or the things that you're looking for back from Odin. So if you're really interested in this subject, guys, please carry on watching. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. And as I've just said in the introduction, it's about contacting Hugin and Moonin, the wonderful ravens of Odin, the All-Father. And in this video also, I'm going to be showing you a wonderful ritual that I tend to do when I want more insight from Odin himself. But obviously, instead of going straight to Odin, we're going to ask his ravens to take the messages or the questions or whatever it is you want back to him. Hugin is called Hugin, but he is thought. It is the thought of Odin, the strategy to be able to strategize anything that he wants to do. So thought is the thing that sets off what we're going to be doing. So like, for example, when we do ritual, the first thing is the spark, the thought. Hugin is thought, Odin's thought. So that's great when you look at it that way. When you see it that way, you can understand why they're linked to him. But not only his thoughts, he can then understand the thoughts of man, of gods, of animals, of anything because they will bring through, or Hugin will bring through the thoughts of all. Moonin, he is memory, and it will be the memory that will help Odin to remember. Memory of the past, of history, of mankind, of the gods, of everything. So it is abundantly understandable that he would need to remember through memory, preserving and keeping that history, that understanding of the things that may have gone wrong or the things that have gone right and how he can then judge what needs to be done. In the Grimsmo, Odin expresses worry about his wonderful ravens maybe not returning and the reason he is worried is because he would then lose memory and thought and that cannot be so he did worry because every day he would send them out Odin is the god of wisdom and knowledge but of course we have to look at the ravens themselves and the symbolization that goes with them. They are connected to death and war. They are connected to the nasty side of things because when they would pick the bones of the warriors that had died on the battlefields, they weren't just eating the flesh. They were actually absorbing the memories and the lives of these warriors. And of course, afterwards they would take that back to Odin. In conclusion, we can look at what the aspect of Hugin and Muni really signify in this day. And thinking about the things that they do now, Odin sends them out every morning and they come back every evening and give everything they have seen, heard and done to Odin, the old father. They are part of Odin, his wisdom and his knowledge. Without them, he loses that, and we cannot have that. So when they go out and they get all these messages to take back, he will listen to them, which is why this ritual that we're gonna do is really good, because by doing that, you are going through a mediation that will be something he will listen to. You have more hope of him hearing what you want than 
if you didn't use them. But in summary also, we can see how important they really are and have spoken about a lot. They were classed as omens against things that would happen, but also a protection for villages and people in the older days. And even to this day, lots of images of ravens are done in pottery and, you know, art forms, pictures, and people still look at them in a very special way. The, the noise that they make, the calling sounds, are very distinctive from others and so we know when we hear that noise and we know there's a battle that they are actually taking the souls of what's left via the flesh in a different way to how the Valkyries would take them. So we know that memory and thought is very important because that's the aspect they're taking back to Odin so he can remember these people, these slain ones. And so how much more in this day and age with us Nordic witches or people that like this pantheon to recognize the fact that yes, Odin is going to remember me because the ravens will take my essence back to him. So I'm going to leave it there and we're going to go straight now into the ritual. But before I do that, I just want to say thank you to my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel and I hope you get what you're looking for from my content. Thank you to all those that always are coming back to watch and support the channel. I really do appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Now, for those of you who do watch regularly and haven't subscribed, please, please press that button, guys. It doesn't cost any money and it will help the channel to go further to other people that might be interested in this type of subject. So, going to leave it there now. Thank you so much. And we're going to go now into the ritual. So, first of all, you would need two black candles and the reason you need these is to signify and represent Hugin and Moonin because they are black in colour. The next thing you're going to need is a white or grey candle which represents the mighty Allfather Odin. After which you will need a, a small bowl of earth, small bowl of water some incense or herbs for burning such as sage or juniper, an offering such as mead or bread or fruit, feathers because they are symbolic of these beautiful birds and symbolism is quite a strong aspect of ritual and I know Odin does like meat what you've got to remember is that you are giving the offering to Hugin and Moonin. And of course, if you want to write anything down from whatever you receive back in message form, you will need a journal and a pen. You're going to choose a very quiet space and you need time, so make sure you're not going to be disturbed. Cleanse the area using the incense or herbs that you've got to cleanse the space by waving the smoke all around the area. As we start the ritual, it's always good to, you know, cleanse your mind and your chakras and whatever it is that you do to get yourself into a ritualistic state. Light the first black candle and say, Hugin, Raven of Thought, I light this candle in your honour. May your wisdom guide me. You're now going to light the second black candle and say, Moonin, raven of memory, I light this candle in your honour. May your knowledge enlighten me. And while you're doing that, guys, think deeply. Think deeply about what you're doing. 
now we come to the white or grey candle and you're going to say Odin oh father I like this candle in your honor may your presence and guidance bless this ritual now take your time over this guys it's not um, a thing to be gone through quickly I want you to think about the words you're saying and feel it inside so now you're going to invoke Hugin and Moonin so you're going to stand or sit whatever you feel is more comfortable for you and take some deep breaths in through the nose hold and out through the mouth through the nose hold and out through the mouth hold a feather in each hand or if you've got very light feathers hold them within your hands and say Hugin, Moonin, mighty ravens of Odin, I call upon you this day. Fly to me on wings of thought and memory and guide me to the wisdom of the All-Father. Help me, please help me connect with his divine presence. And then leave a little bit of a break because you want to have this as a real statement to them knowing that they will know you are really feeling it and that will help the connection next we're going to make the offering so place the offering in front of the candles and say i offer this and with mine is lovely mead so I'm going to say I offer this mead as a token of my respect and gratitude may it please you and open the way for Odin's blessing then dip your fingers into the bowl of water and sprinkle a little bit around you saying water of life cleanse me and prepare me to receive his wisdom touch the earth and soil and hold it in your hands saying earth of strength ground me and connect me to the ancient wisdom of the all father now after you've done all these things guys you need to go into a form of meditation and connection because this is how you will receive your messages so you must close your eyes relax and visualize Hugin and mooning flying around you their wings carrying messages from Odin see them landing near you whispering ancient wisdom and insights into your ears Spend at least 10 to 15 minutes in this meditative state, allowing any images, thoughts or feelings to come to you. And then of course last, you're going to sit down and write any insights, thoughts, messages or feelings that you may have received during this ritual. To close the ritual, Thank Hugin and Moonin and Odin, of course, for their presence and guidance. And so you can say, thank you, Hugin and Moonin, for your wisdom and guidance. Thank you, Odin, all father, for your presence and blessings. May your wisdom continue to enlighten my path. Then extinguish the candles one by one in the order that you lit them then take a moment to ground yourself by touching the bowl of earth and then take some deep breaths and visualize any excess energy flowing into the earth grounding and balancing you then if you can if you're not too busy spend some time in nature observing the birds and the feeling of connection to the ravens. 
So I hope you got something from that, guys. I really do. It's a lovely little ritual and it's something that is easy for anybody to do. And you'll be surprised at the success of it. And it's lovely to get to know all the lovely, lovely birds because it's not just mooning and hooging. Think about it when you go out and you look and you see them. They are beautiful birds to look at and they're very knowledgeable. If you look at the eyes of one of them beautiful birds, you will think, wow, there's definitely a soul in there. So I hope you enjoyed and I will be back in a week with another video. So wherever you are, whatever time of day, night or evening it may be, I wish you the best ever. House of the Land. Wow.